Good day. I'm Reed. Thanks for joining me here today. To all the new subscribers, thanks for coming online and appreciate your presence. I'm walking around Orchestra Farm. It's the uh, beginning of November in 2024. And, you know, it's been a fallow year here, which means I'm not doing anything. So when we go around and you see how messy and unkept and everything is, uh, that's why. And with that, uh, tools that were supposed to be working were not working, i.e. tractors, and so extra stuff didn't get done. And if you've ever had a tractor to use, you understand like the manpower, horsepower that it has within it, comparative to a single person, i.e. me, doing everything. And the difference is vast. So look at that. I'm I am going to come in and chop this off uh, probably this month at some point and just let it sit covered for the winter. Oh yeah, there's a lot of standing water. We got some serious rains over the weekend. Um, and, you know, prep it for next year, which I am intending on growing here again. You can see uh, some of the blueberry bushes there. I need to weed whack around the second row in particular. Um, get them all up. Probably see some of the standing water in this, what was a squash patch. And, you know, I just celebrated a birthday and I got home late on that day and I put my kids in their beds because they were sleeping and I went to go put my stuff down in my office den zone and on my chair were four rather large canvases. They're like three feet by two or two and a half. I haven't actually measured them. And it takes as much space as my torso and then off to the side a good bit. And I experienced overwhelm, which is not a usual experience for me. And you might ask why well i have a rather small house and if you've been watching these videos at all you know that i've been actually giving away for the cost of shipping and handling paintings and that's because i don't have room for them and i want to do more so i need to send them away and that was my primary reason it was just like oh this is a great gift they're actually pretty nice canvases um, they like have a double frame on the back of them but I was just like oh my god I'm not ready for this in any number of ways and then as I kind of sat with that for a bit I came to the realization of like having shown my artwork to different people that many people were like oh I like this idea but I want to see it bigger and I'm very slowly starting to make bigger pieces and also recognizing like for some of it it's kind of wild how much extra time it takes along with like you know kind of obviously a lot more paint has to go onto them and all those things cost and right now my painting hobby is a meditative practice that doesn't exactly pay for itself. I mean, it doesn't pay for itself. So, it's just one of those things that I'm doing because I love it. And kind of continuing it because of my joy. Now, if someone wants to buy a painting, I'm totally open to that. And if you see a piece that you like in my painting video, which you can find on my channel here. Oh, that's interesting. Then, uh... Feel free to let me know and we can work something out for that. But with all that, finding these canvases and being like, oh my gosh, where am I going to even put them in? Thankfully, my wife found a spot for them to go while they're not being worked on. And as I like sat with the thought, now this is cool. I haven't actually noticed this for some reason. But these large stems that are here, I mean, that tall one has got to be 10 foot tall. 
uh, our motherwort, which is kind of, I don't think I've ever seen motherwort so tall. Wow. But this notion of, okay, I really need to finish the paintings I'm working on so that I can get on with these other pieces. And I treated myself over the weekend to some new primary paints because I've been just blasting through them. There is like so much standing water here. Again, I mentioned we had, oh, this is cool. I love watching the flowing water. One of the great joys of my life actually is watching the flowing water. It's subtle, but it's definitely present. And as I've started working on these bigger canvases, I'm just like going through so much more paint. And so I found a pretty good deal on some, like, what was it, eight fluid ounces of paint. This is acrylics I'm talking about. And got home and started experimenting a little bit with some of those, which is so much fun. And as I was doing that, I realized, you know, I'm build up some extra supplies because frequently I like to incorporate mixed media and other items into my artwork and so I started to get these ideas for these bigger canvases because I've got actually a lot of like elderberry stems and flower I'm not sure what you call that but the part of the plant that connects to the flower it's not the flower but it's the stem that the flower connects to and it like umbrellas out and I started to get all these ideas for how to utilize those. So I'm like pretty actually excited to have these bigger canvases and to have that moment of overwhelm was, you know, in actuality in the long run, a bit revelatory. So I'm actually pretty grateful for that gift and that experience of feeling overwhelmed with it. Now, on a different note, as I'm, you might be aware, I'm a musician and producer, and this year I brought forward a concept album titled Delta of Becoming, and which was a, I collaborated with a, eight or so other musicians, and then basically used that as sample material to reconfigure and bring together. I released it back in August and I just got a review of it. And some of the key words from the review, which I thought was actually very well descriptive of the album in its total, the key words I remember was beautifully savage and unprecedented and the inheritor of the 60s psychedelic movement all rather grand things and you know it's kind of a science fiction piece and i've been reading more science fiction lately and it's got me thinking of that this is like a volume in my sonic work and the notion of oh i could cre do this kind of thing again Kind of for my own pleasure. I uh, give myself maybe a little bit longer start time uh, because it was in actuality really enjoyable both collaborating with all the other musicians in this way. It seemed really enjoyable for them to have the musical space that I created for them to function within. And then right now because of my work, I'm actually able to process through a lot of that while I'm working to pick out the parts that uh, are most meaningful for the project. So anyway, I'm considering all that. That's a little life update for me in this moment. I got to get off to work. I want to say thanks again for joining me here. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. That means a ton. If you've got projects you're working on right now or ideas of things that have been overwhelming that you've discovered actually like benefited you, I'd love to hear about all that. And with that, I want to say have too much fun.